What's up collectors and ultra so much enthusiasts on today's video I got you some more excited news We're gonna be taking a look at the recently released pictures for Transformers Kingdom Wave 3 We're gonna be taking a look at Trax, Rhinox, Core Soundwave and more So with that being said, let's get on with the video And for our first Transformers Kingdom Wave 3 reveal, we got none other than Trax. And as you can see, oh my god, this guy looks good. For the paint distribution, it's not bad at all. And just the looks, man, it looks incredible. Giving you other looks so you can truly appreciate the sculpted in detail that this guy has. You can see, not bad at all. He really looks accurate to the G1 representation. As you can see, he brings two weapons, one in white and the other one in black. The white one is the one that is supposed to be on the back. And you can see that you can unpeg it however you want to. And you can display it however you want to as well. I love the fact that they managed to pose in this way because it looks like he he has a lot of articulation you can see some anchor articulation as well as a possible 90 degree bend at the knee and you can see some more articulation at the arm so not bad at all for the paint distribution is not that bad but for the g1 accuracy there are a couple of paint jobs missing here and there for example on the wings there's some red missing there and you can see that on the belt there are a couple of paint jobs missing as well and you can see that on the legs there are a couple of mini paint jobs it's a minor condo this is me picking it really truly looks accurate to the g1 representation it looks good nonetheless for example on the face cool looks amazing you can see that the chest is completely completely accurate you can see the red and the yellow there on the chest you can see that the wheels are placed on the exact same position as the g1 representation and you can see that the backpack has the white weapon as well there are a couple of paint jobs missing there but it looks really good not to mention the weapon is completely accurate and the legs look good nonetheless there are a couple of paint jobs missing there for example the blue on the metal but again it looks really good so i really don't mind that moving on to the vehicle mode you can see that, that same accuracy that he had on robo mode translates really well into the vehicle mode itself you can see that it looks really accurate to the u1 representation the rims looks incredible and you can see that the weapon pegs on the top and just the color man it looks great for a couple of non-cgi images you actually see how truly good this guy looks as you can see oh my god it does not disappoint at all just a paint job and the looks looks incredible you can see that it's a little different to the cgi render of him you can see that the front skirt is black not blue and you can see that on the cgi it has it as blue and you can see that it actually looks better on black it actually makes it pop a lot more and as always the weapons are packable to the vehicle mode itself or you can unpack them if you don't like the look personally i don't like the look so i'm gonna go ahead and unpack them because you can see it's not accurate to the g1 position i got a, a couple of pictures on the left one it shows them without the weapon but if you like the weapon you can go ahead and put it on you can pack them together and then pack them on the vehicle mode speaking of inaccuracy the only inaccurate piece that i managed to find on the vehicle mode is the autobot logo on the top you can see that that uh red and yellow autobot logo that is on top of the windows is missing on the actual figure but i completely understand why they decided not to to put it it kind of looks weird with the double autobot logo on the vehicle mode it's accurate to the g1 representation but i understand why they decided not to put it in it really looks good without it for the area mode i mean oh my god man it doesn't get any accurate in this one as you can see it looks really good sculpted in detail is it's amazing and when it translates to this mode it's just impeccable it looks really good really truthful to the g1 representation and i got no cons whatsoever with this mode because as you can see everything is positioned the way it's supposed to be and it's just again truthful to the g1 representation so this is pretty much it for tracks let's go ahead and move on to second figure for a second figure we have rhinox and oh my god this is another one that got me by surprise you can see super super accurate to his visual representation it looks just incredible flawless indeed and now for a couple of non-cgi images so you can truly appreciate how beautiful this guy is you can see not bad at all really truthful to his visual representation you can see that the face go looks fantastic the chest looks good the arms look great and just the legs man the sculpted in detail on this figure is just done on a really high level you can see the weapons are accurate as well for the color proportions they are done the perfect way for comparison to his visual representation so you guys can see what i'm talking about as you can see it just looks amazing just the chest looks great the face cool looks accurate you can see that the arms looks exactly the same the only mini con that i could find is on the waist you can see that that section there is missing on the figure but as you can see eh, honestly i understand perfectly why the, that section is missing that is a really difficult thing to do and again it looks good nonetheless for the vismo you can see that it looks fantastic really accurate as well you can see this is sculpted in detail looks off the charts and it looks great and for the non cgi images it looks just as good as you can see it looks exactly the same as a real life rhino and oh my god man the sculpted in detail the face cool looks really menacing you can see that it has a couple of teeth there it does not suffer the dinobot and grimlock syndrome you know the teeth missing on the front i'm really happy that they decided to fix this with rhinox as you can see it has the teeth on the front so i'm really really excited for that and for a comparison to his beast world representation so you guys can see how truly accurate this guy is i mean there's not much to say it's just a copy and paste from top to bottom 
is super accurate so not bad at all really nice indeed and for a closer look so you can appreciate the many features that it has you can see it can open his mouth and it just looks amazing man it's sculpted in detail looks off the charge it looks really menacing i like it and for our third figure we have none other than windfinger another fossilizer and oh my god i'm really excited for this one i recently did a fossilizer video i really didn't like them at the beginning but after having one and reviewing him i mean man the customization that they bring to the table is amazing and i am super excited that they decided to release yet another one I, again i always call them the lego transformers because they you can do whatever you want with them the articulation is off the charge they're just fun to have on your collection again you can do whatever you want you can use it as weapons you can break them apart and form another transformer or you can just add them to your collection and display the way they are but just they're a lot of fun i really recommend them and for this one you can see that it's a little bit skinny it's sculpted in detail it's not that bad at all the color distribution is amazing it looks like the rest you know just a couple of bones just forming a transformer for the articulation i can already tell that this guy can move so you can see it has a lot of bulgings and a lot of hinges so a lot of you know customizations and a lot of options there so not bad at all and you can already tell you can form any weapon you want with this guy this one is a maximal i thought that all the fossilizers were bad guys because they look really menacing but as you can see this one is a good one and just the looks man i love how they look for the beast mode you can see that same look that the role mode had translates really well into the beast mode itself you can see that it looks really accurate to the actual pterodactyl the actual dinosaur for the sculpted in detail you can see that it looks good not bad at all you can see the color distribution is good it looks like an actual bone and it's kind of weird to me that he's flying without the actual wings he's just having two bones sticking out i don't know it kind of looks weird to me but you know other than that it looks menacing it looks great and i cannot wait to have it in my collection for our next transformers kingdom wave 3 figure we have none other than vertebrae nah i'm just kidding this time it's called dracodon and it's green so I, I don't know if you're excited for this but me personally i cannot care less about this one because this is essentially a copy and paste just swap the colors and call it another name and there you have it so this is for me my next shelf former of my collection if i pick it up to review it because it's just ten dollars so i can complain too much but again it's just a copy and paste that i'm not excited at all for this one and i'm probably not gonna pick it up but if you like it there you have it there is dragon or virtue whatever you want to call this guy and for our last and final figure here we have none other than Sunwave. oh my god man the core class this is what i mean for ten dollars we're getting a figure that pretty much looks like the voyager counterpart and it looks great amazing just sculpted in detail looks off the charge and the paint distribution looks amazing i will go as far as to say that this guy looks better than the voyager counterpart and for example here we have the next like voyager Sunwave. so you guys can see you know the differences and just as you can see it, it looks cleaner it looks better it's just the paint distribution for me it looks off the charge in comparison and i don't know man i, I kind of like it more i mean it does not have those gaps on the arms it does not have any gaps whatsoever on the front maybe on the sides but as you can see it, i don't know man it, it looks better for me and not only that he brings his cassette it, it can fit in and you know you can open it i'm guessing that it's laser beam due to the color you cannot transform it but again it's ten dollars man and for ten dollars you're basically doing the same thing that the boy you did minus the transformation of laser v i don't know man i don't know it's just me but it's just crazy to think that a ten dollar figure is comparing directly with a 30 or 50 dollar figure you know a boy class and for the cassette player you can see that it looks good really accurate to the g representation and i just love the simplicity of it and for a comparison so you guys can see that it competes directly with the boy class you can see that it's pretty much the same thing mind of the feet you can see the feet sticking out on the core class but again it's a ten dollar figure i cannot wait to have this guy in my collection honestly for me it's a must have and i am super super excited to see how all the transformers translate into the core class so what are your thoughts on the transformers kingdom wave 3 line what is your favorite figure i am honestly interested to know your thoughts leave that on the comments down below and by the way i didn't mention a few figures of the wave 3 is because i already mentioned them on other videos for example i already covered galvatron the arc and scorponok and you know i have made two videos on hot rod already so I i'm probably gonna make another one because they release a couple of new uh images of it but that's another video on it itself i only wanted it to cover the new goodies the wave offers links of those videos i mentioned it are gonna be on the description down below and they're gonna be appearing on the top right corner of this video but with that being said that's pretty much it for the video guys i hope you enjoy it if you did please leave a like it really helps you to algorithm and house my videos get out there in a while so if you get anything any value out of my content please subscribe and i will see you on the next video but this is pretty much it for transformers kingdom wave 3